Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit informal for the reason that I wasn't planning on filming and I went to go check the mail even though it's Sunday. But there was mail in my mailbox. And what was in there? This envelope from, from Georgia Institute of Technology. Oh, my address is there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to block my address. So Georgia Institute of Technology. What is this? It's a school that offers a master's, you know, it's a school, right? It's a real school. But what do they have that I want? They have an online master's in computer science. And I first heard about this program maybe about a year ago. Well, intriguing it was it was so cheap. You know, they promote this program. You know, they say it's seven thousand dollars and it's reputable and it's, you know, it's it's reputable. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. So it actually counts, you know, it's accredited and all that stuff. The good thing about Georgia Tech is that they don't require GREs. So for those of you that don't know, aren't familiar with the, with the graduate school process, you know, just like when you go into a college or a university, you kind of have to take the SATs, right? Or get the ACTs. I didn't take the ACTs when I went to school, but I took the SAT because it's kind of mandatory. We just came back from dinner and we got bones, so my dog's over there having the time of her life. So she might be a little bit loud right now. But they don't require GREs, so that kind of saves you, you know, some test preparation and money. Because you have to pay a little bit to take these tests. I've never taken it before. I probably will have to in the future. But I didn't have to, to, to go uh, and apply to Georgia Tech, which was kind of sweet. I applied. The deadline was February 28th, the last day of February, here for 2019. Um, to be eligible to start in the September of 2019, online, of course. You know, this program is meant for people who are working full-time, which I am. And I, was, I asked my boss if they would be able to pay for it, given that it's so cheap. You know, and they have a, my company where I work, they have a program already that kind of pays for tuition if it's, you know, it falls along where you, you know, your, your path. Like if you're an engineer and you want to get one in, in communications, well, it's not really going to work out. But if you're an engineer and you want to get one in computer science, then yeah, they'll pay for it, right? So they agreed to pay for it, um, which is really nice. And now for the moment of truth, the unboxing. Unboxing, rip it. Rip Stop it. Stop showing your address. <laughs> and notice of data breach oh this is not what I was... dear <laughs> dear Jaime Topete the Georgia Institute of Technology Georgia Tech is committed to protect <laughs> this is not my acceptance letter this is a data breach so so I'm back and after a, a sips sips of wine and, and a computer and googling and looking into my account I have confirmed, you know, I didn't find the information out through this data breach, but thank you for letting me know <laughs> that indeed I did get accepted into the school. Thank you so much, you know, Georgia Tech for accepting me. And for those of you who are interested, just look them up. It's really not, ex not expensive. I think it's, they say it's around $7,000 for two years for a master's. You do have to have a, a BS in engineering, you know, but... Um, I know a couple of people on Reddit because I was an anxious, you know, I wanted to know if I got in or not. Um, some people on, on Reddit said, I have no experience with computer science, but I did take some online courses and I prepared and they wrote that down, you know, because there's, there's a section where you can write about yourself um, and they got in. So you don't necessarily have to come from, from a science background, scientific background. The requirements for this application are three letters of, of recommendation. So I asked my ex-boss who now works as a as not a boss but just my co-worker i asked um my mentor and i asked my college advisor at ucsb and they were all really helpful i think their letters helped a lot you write two other little essays and some minor questionnaires and your application fee of like 65 bucks but this emotional roller coaster of data being breached is not what i was expecting but thank you for letting me know i have to go take care of this maybe Hopefully nothing bad happened. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you know, I got into Georgia Tech. I found out today. I'm really excited. I'm super excited. And if you guys have any more questions, you know, feel free to ask or look around for online programs because I work full time. You know, on campus isn't really for me and they might not be for you. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. 
Have a nice, safe Memorial Day weekend, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.